Hi, Manatee. It's Mrs. Kublank. I just want to teach you real quick how to put a book on hold. If you go to our Manatee website, you can click on Launchpad. Then you're going to find your Fall at Destiny app. Click on that. In the top right hand corner, there's going to be a login button. Go ahead and type in your student number, student number for both your username and password and log in. Once you get to Destiny, you can search for any book that you are looking for in particular that uh, hoping that we have it in our system. So let's start off with just typing in Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Okay. What I want you to notice right away is we have 73 results for that request. So as we group go down the choices. The one thing I want you to notice right away is the first two um, are ebooks. They're electronic books. They're not in our library. They are in the Sora library for Brevard County. That's another app on your um, launch pad. So if you want to read an ebook, you can click on the Sora app. But for checking out a book from our library, you're looking for books that number one are going to say in or out. Okay. They're checked in or out. Obviously we're not going to check out. Um, a book that's already out. So if you're looking to check a book that's already in, let's look at this one, Diary of Your Wimpy Kid, book number one. There's an option for you to put a book on hold. So we're gonna click hold, okay? So after you've put a book on hold and you wanna check to see what you have on hold, if you go over to your th the three bars in the top left-hand corner, click on those three bars and you see the word holds. This student has put two books on holds, Diary Whippy Kid, which is what we just did just now, and another book, Whales, okay? So if we go back to those three bars, we'll always see the holds that we are waiting for. If we go to checkouts, we can see which, which books we actually have checked out right now. We can see when they're due. So let's do another search. Let's search for, let's say we have a, a report, and we're gonna do a book on whales. So again, we've got 82 different books about whales. Well, that makes the decision really hard. If you have filters on the left-hand side, if you um, know your Lexile, you can click on Lexile, and if you can adjust by taking the circles and adjusting the levels, so you have a better range, somewhere between four and 600. And now that 82 changes to 16 books. Now I can kind of look at them. If you look at the profiles, you can find out the Lexile on the right. You can find, see that this book has an actual killer whales, actually has a reading counts quiz. The one above it, Humpback Whales, does not because it doesn't have a reading counts um, point level there. So if you wanted to kind of filter out the books, you can do that. Um, you can put the books on hold. And most importantly, guys, if you decide you do not want a book, go back to that holds option, click on that book, and unfold it. All right. And then when you're done, you're done. And hopefully we'll get those books to you. One thing that we're trying right now is to put the books that you've selected on hold. Um, they'll be in the front of their school building in between the two glass doors, um, that the front entrance of our school. I call that the fishbowl. There's a black uh, shelf right inside the doors, and that's where we're gonna put any books that my e-learners have requested them on that black shelf with your name on it. And Mrs. Dewar and I will try to send you an email to let you know that they are ready to be picked up during school hours. And for my friends here at Manatee, if it's not your day to visit the library and you're looking for a book and you request the book on hold, then we will um, pull that book for you and put it in your teacher's mailbox. So whether you're an e-learner or a student at Manatee, um, putting books on hold, we hope, will be an easy process. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a quick email. Thanks again, Manatee.